this is a message they wanted to myself. My voice sounds like this because how earlier in my youth I started that bad habit of smoking was resulted in my vocal cords being removed and them being replaced with mechanical vocal cords. He did this warning so that in the future you will not have to suffer this. Everyone wishes to dedicate it. I've been able to see time for the right hands of time. Our earlier choices will see what later comes into my dad comes into my They say that one of the torments in the house realms of the afterlife are realizations that was their own choices that brought them there. Plus the clarity in remembering each thought, each step, each choice that led them to be sentenced to be there. A vivid memory that included thoughts and actions and the forming of bad habits that formed their characters, that shapes their destinies. But also, the divine warnings along the way to repent stop going down those paths. The rejection of those warnings, the vivid imagery of what could have been had those warnings been needed. At those end of the road type points, everyone living the sum of all their choices. Thus wishes that they could have gone back in time and warned themselves, showed themselves a vision of their own futures at the moment they started thinking about making those first choices that caused them to form bad habits that would eventually destroy themselves with. Cosmic agents that continually risk their lives and help save the entire public rules from being enslaved or destroyed by global killers in possession of global killer weapons are granted these which as heroes rewards for successful missions. Whereas time and space ripple effects repair teams repair the ripple effects caused by some of the choices the cosmic agents caused while back in time on different missions. So also are cosmic agents granted their wishes to repair their own lives by going back into time to attempt to convince themselves to change or stop certain key habits or not make certain choices that had negative ripple effects consequences later on in their lives. Some of which resulted in them not even being able to qualify for becoming cosmic agents. So it was with me, Max Pointer. In my youth, I had been visited many times by my older self, warning me about not making certain choices along the way. One of the key choices was when I gave into the temptation and peer pressures of starting smoking. Even in like all the medical scientific proofs of what it could cost and how much it would cost, I did give in. And that led to a habit of me getting throat cancer, which caused many things to happen in, in that group effect time space line. It led to me getting throat cancer, which things you refuse to think about when they show when you are enjoying the vices you choose to do. Because they are pleasurable at first. Well, at some point in time, I was able to eventually convince myself after showing myself the results, the medical pictures, the x-rays, the MRIs of what it looked like, what the results were. I eventually was able to convince myself to not make the choice that led to this horrific sum of all my choices, results, and consequences of the road. Tobacco companies in the name of wealth, you're bad for world health.
keep on doing this. Well, what do you mean <laughs> I am you? Just a little older. It gave me a heart attack. Yeah, well that will too. Definitely. You know, well, what is it we're doing here? You know... Just, just try to have a little bit of fun. Well, let me... Let me warn you again. Where this stuff leads to. I've been given the opportunity to time loop, to come back in the time to my earlier self, you, to tell you about where this choice that you're about ready to make is going to lead to. I'm sure you don't want to hear all the details, the gory details about how that I later, how that we, we later get throat cancer and die from this. I can't make you. Can't stop you. It's your free agency, but I'm just letting you know. I mean, why? Why? What? What made you want to try this? Huh? Uh, Peer pressure, your friends. What? What's going on in your life? Kind of seemed like the thing to Fun do. Fun thing to do. Uh, well, this thing can cost you your life. Mega, mega bucks in the long run. And not only that, you won't be able to qualify for becoming a cosmic agent. And what is a cosmic agent? As I told you in earlier times, I've appeared to you, appeared to me, my earlier me. Yes, I'm your older you. I'm not here to force you to do anything, but I'm just letting you know that a cosmic agent is a very important job in the universe. If you go what's, down this road... What's one smoke gonna do? Well, one smoke leads to the next one, and then the next one, and you might like it, and then eventually that one smoke will turn into a habit, which will turn into your character, which will ultimately shape your destiny. The sum of all your choices, we've tracked down me not being able to become a cosmic agent. You, you and me, not being able to become a cosmic agent because of this choice right here. We've tracked it down, we've traced it down through the timeline, the ripple effects that are caused through the timeline back to this very moment here. That's why I've appeared to you to let you know that this is not the choice to be making. But what if I don't want to become a cosmic agent? I don't want to save the universe. I just want to have a little fun. Well, you're young, you're, well, you just barely turn 18. You're young and foolish at this point in time. You want to have fun, you want to, do what your friends are doing, that kind of thing. I understand that, but I'm just letting you know that this will eventually kill you. It'll, uh, the pleasure you might momentarily get will end up being medically harmful, expensive, and very painful to you. So, now it's your choice, but it's also our choice because, like I said, this is going to be affecting the later me, the later you. Well, if you put it that way, I didn't really know how to roll the things anyway. Well, I'm glad <laughs> you didn't. Why don't we get rid of this thing? Never even really made me feel good anyway.